the saying, cool as a cucumber, isn't just malarkey. This cousin of the watermelon is over 96% water. And in fact, in parts of China, street vendors will offer patrons an ice-cold peeled cucumber to cool them down on a hot summer day. But Keith is here, and he's going to show us another Chinese cool cucumber dish, which is called pai huanggua. Yeah, this is also called smashed or smacked cucumbers, and it's a perfect example of that cooling effect of cucumbers. It's a Szechuan dish, commonly served with hot, spicy, rich food, and it really balances out those hot flavors. So what we want with the cucumbers is we want to have the skin on. We want that crisp skin and the tender flesh underneath. We dismissed American cucumbers right off the bat because that skin is too waxy and thick. It yep. doesn't eat very well. Pickling cucumbers and small Persian cucumbers were better, but there are too many seeds in the pickling cucumbers. And these little Persian cucumbers, they have a nice thin skin. There's not enough flesh underneath. So what we have here are two English cucumbers. They're about 14 ounces. And we're going to trim the ends off these before we get to smashing. Now, we could go ahead and smash these right on the counter, but I wouldn't advise that <laughs> because you'll be cleaning cucumber seeds up off your kitchen right, for weeks. Right. So we're going to put these into a plastic bag. Before I do that, I'm just going to cut them into thirds. And so you want to smash them in big pieces. Yeah, we're looking for a one to one and a half inch pieces here, not small. And it doesn't have to be perfect. Random sized pieces are just fine. Now, traditionally, this is done with a <laughs> flat side of a cleaver. But I like to use a small skillet. It has a little bit more heft to it. It's a little easier to break these up. And you don't want to wail on these. You don't want to be <laughs> crashing these. You just want to kind of have gentle but firm, if that makes any sense. No, it totally makes sense. If you're smashing, you're not beating the tar out of them. Exactly. <laughs> so you can see that they're broken into three or four spears. If they don't, if they kind of break in half, that's okay. We're going to tear them with our hands okay. afterwards anyways. So really, you're just bashing them until they start to break apart. Yeah, you're just going to kind of flatten them. And they'll break really easy into small spears. Just open this up. Now, we want to salt these before we eat them. We want that kind of pickle texture. We want to take some of that liquid out. So we're going to put this mass pieces into a colander, toss it with some salt, let it stand for a little bit. One to one and a half inch pieces. And if there are any seeds that have come loose, just leave them right in the bag. Okay. We don't really want those seeds because there's more water in those seeds. And we want to get rid of some of that excess moisture that cucumbers have. Looks like a fun job, too. It is kind of fun. Meditative. Right <laughs> after you smash, you do a little meditative tearing. Um. OK, so I have one and a half teaspoons of kosher salt here. I'm just going to sprinkle this over the cucumbers, toss them. We're going to let these sit for 15 to 30 minutes. And that's going to start to draw out a lot of that moisture. All right. Well, being aggressive with the cucumbers speeds up the effects of the salt. During the violent smashing, the cucumber cells are damaged, which results in moisture leaking out of the damaged cells. Now, when salt is added, even more moisture is drawn out, giving the cucumbers a crisp, pickle-like texture. Now, if we just used sliced cucumbers, it would take considerably longer to get the same amount of liquid out of the cucumbers. So next time you want to get your aggressions out, skip the punching bag and make a cucumber salad instead. So our cucumbers are almost ready. We're going to make a really simple dressing for this dish. Now, the predominant flavor in this dressing is garlic. It, but if we know anything from garlic, once you mince it, it can get too aggressive over time. Sure can. So we're going to employ a technique that we've used in the past in dressings, is that we're going to take a little bit of vinegar, and we're going to soak the garlic in that to mellow that garlic flavor out. Now, for this dish, we're using black vinegar which is a Chinese vinegar. It's made from rice, and it's aged in earthenware pots. And it develops this really complex flavor, much like balsamic has a complex flavor. So we have four teaspoons of vinegar here, and I have one teaspoon of garlic that's been minced to a paste. In our testing, we found that products labeled just black vinegar can be inconsistent in flavor. So we're using Jingjiang vinegar, which is a much more consistent flavored vinegar. OK, so we're going to let that mellow out five up to 15 minutes. While we do that, I'm going to toast one teaspoon of sesame seeds in okay. the small skillet that we have over here. I'm just going to toast this over medium heat for about three to five minutes. We're going to shake that pan occasionally to make sure it's getting toasted on all sides. OK, so our sesame seeds are nicely toasted here. I'm just going to pull them off the heat so they don't continue to cook. Now let's focus on our dressing. Our garlic has mellowed in that vinegar, and we're just going to finish it up with a tablespoon of soy sauce. That's going to season the dish, give it an umami flavor, which is nice. I have two teaspoons of toasted sesame oil, a nice nutty flavor there, and one teaspoon of sugar. Just going to whisk that up really quickly. OK, our dressing is done. Now it's time for our cucumbers. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to take these out of the colander, put them into our bowl. 
Gonna give them a shake to get any of that excess liquid off there. And you don't need to rinse these? There's no reason to rinse these. We had just enough salt to bring out the moisture, but not enough where we have to rinse them off. And I just wanted to show you this, Bridget. You can see all this liquid that we have here. Maybe that two or three tablespoons. Lot. Especially for just 15 to 30 minutes for salting the cucumbers. Exactly. So with smashing the cucumbers, we had six times the amount of moisture given off in 15 minutes than we did with chopped cucumbers. Just so gonna pour the dressing over the top. I'm gonna grab our toasted sesame seeds, sprinkle this over the top, give this a quick toss. Now, another advantage to smashing cucumbers is that these irregular pieces are gonna really hold on to that dressing really well. A colleague of mine compared it to pouring water onto a wooden floor with chopped cucumbers, it just kind of runs off. <laughs> but these smashed cucumbers are kind of like a shag carpet, so when you pour something on top, it just drinks it all up. <laughs> I have to say, this whole thing has come together incredibly fast. Yeah, not a lot of ingredients either. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I think it's time to eat these. That's it. That's it. Awesome. Now, traditionally, this is meant to be eaten with spicy food. You're gonna have something rich and spicy with it. You want something plain. But since we're just eating the salad by itself today, we have a Szechuan chili oil here, which is gonna add a nice spiciness. So if you're gonna serve this with like grilled fish or grilled mm -hmm. chicken, I would suggest making this chili oil, which you can find on our website. It will just give it a little bit more pizzazz. I love looking at these craggy cucumbers. And you gotta say, I mean, the dressing is actually sitting on the cucumbers. You're right, it didn't all go to the bottom of the bowl. I'm gonna grab some with the chili oil. Completely different texture than just slice. Absolutely. It is pickle crisp. And the dressing is balanced too. You get the garlic right at the beginning, mm -hmm. but it's not too, too harsh. And that black vinegar has a nice complex flavor. So simple, so good, and actually fun, that technique of smashing the cucumbers. Yeah, when's the last time you made a salad with a skillet, not a knife? <laughs> That's true. Keith, amazing recipe. Thanks so much. Well, this recipe starts by cutting trimmed English cucumbers into thirds. Smash those cucumbers, then toss them with salt to dry out moisture. Finish with a classic black vinegar and garlic dressing. So from our test kitchen to your kitchen, a great new recipe for your summer table. Pai Huang Gua or smashed cucumbers. Thanks for watching America's Test Kitchen. What'd you think? Well, leave a comment and let us know which recipes you're excited to make, or you can just say hello. You can find links to today's recipes and reviews in the video description. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you later. I'll see you later.